Okay, everybody, here's video two of the light sensor uh, with the Arduino board. If you've seen my first video, um, it was basically just one light and getting the sensor hooked up. And so when you did um, put a shadow over the sensor or as it got darker, the light, the one single LED came on. Well, then I wanted to figure out a way where I can hook up multiple LEDs. That way, if I wanted them ran through the whole house or through different bedrooms, um, see how I would do that. And this is um, its fairly simple, but I have no electrical engineering um, experience or anything like that. Like I said, on my first video, this is my second day playing with the Arduino board. Um, other than that, I really have no experience in any kind of ele electrical or electrical engineering. So what I want to show you is it's basically the same setup. Um, I don't know if you know how a breadboard works, but basically um, if you look at the rows right here, they they go this way. So if you put something here, it sends a circuit through a line going diagonal. Um, with these, these give it the positive and the ground, positive and negative charge, which is just um, the ground, and um, they run up and down and these in the middle go side to side. So basically what I did was I wanted to make sure I already got power going to this side of the breadboard and so what I did was with these red and black wires so what I did was I connected the the positive over to this side and then the ground to this side so now I'm actually running um, I converted the power from this side of the breadboard now I got power going all the way up this side of the breadboard and that helped me connect more LEDs and we had pin 8 last time which was controlling the single LED all I did was since uh, that works the whole circuit I figure well if I just put um, pin 8 to here that means it should get the same signal all uh, diagonal on that breadboard so I took each wire and I hooked up a LED to each one with the resistors and um, so then I said okay well I want to add a couple more on this side of the breadboard so when I went in I just changed the code I added pin 2 to it and did the same thing as I did up here and uh, that keeps you from having to um, you could have done it another way you could have hooked up each individual LED to each port on the Arduino board but then you would have to go in and recode for each LED now I only have to code for two LEDs which connects eight LEDs well, each one makes four um, so that's it was fairly simple to figure out like I said I couldn't really find I was trying to look for a little bit of um, support on the um, Arduino forms I couldn't really find anything um, so I just kind of thought about it for a second and made sense to do it this way and it actually worked so in this, as you can see I put the shadow over the sensor and all LEDs flick on at one time and like I said this would be good for if you wanted to run this on a larger scale say throughout your house that way I know when I wake up in the middle of the night I have a one-year-old and I can't see anything sometimes to get through the house if he's crying or not so with this I'll have low lighting throughout the house at all uh, times of the night and it's not really going to cost me anything um, to keep those on I mean it will cost a little bit but nothing to really worry about so that's the main reason of the Arduino board so eventually I'd like to get it on a larger scale like that and this is just my test setup and as you can see it does work so see you next time